right, well, meantime, the uh, death toll is rising after a 7.8 and 7.5 earthquake hit Turkey as well as uh, uh, Syria. More than 5,000 people, unfortunately, have been killed, and thousands more are still missing. And meantime, the Los Angeles Fire Department urban search and rescue members are sending out more than 75 members to Turkey to help out with rescue efforts following the massive earthquake. Joining us right now is geophysicist as well as research professor at climate at Columbia University's climate school, Michael Steckler. Michael, good to see you here this morning. So, Michael, can you just help, uh, give us some perspective here? Because I know a number of our viewers are not as familiar with what a 7.8 earthquake is and how much damage it can do. So can you give us some perspective on, on what does that mean? Okay, well, it's, it's a logarithmic scale. So each time you go up in a number, um, the, the shaking is 10 times greater and the amount of energy released is 30 times greater. Um, so a, a 7.8 is, is a really significant earthquake. At, by the time you reach an 8 is when it's considered a great earthquake. Um, this, this earthquake, for this type of, of earthquake, this is actually a very large um, earthquake. Uh, that ruptured perhaps uh, 200 kilometers or, you know, 130 mile long section of, uh, of the fault. And we've also been hearing reports of aftershocks as well, which is unfortunately going to complicate uh, rescue efforts. So how long can we anticipate some of these aftershocks lasting? And could they be as strong as a magnitude 7.0 or 7.5 earthquake? Um, they could Probably the larger ones will mostly be in the sixes, um, but they may continue for, for months with the earthquakes um, slowly decreasing in, in magnitude and amount um, over time. But, but there may be uh, aftershocks for quite a, quite a long time. And how often does uh, something like this happen? I mean, I know uh, Turkey's president says uh, that this was the worst disaster that they have faced since 1939. Um, yeah, I, you know, there's two major faults in, in Turkey are the North Anatolian Fault and the East Anatolian Fault. So the um, North Anatolian Fault moves about an inch a year, and it has um, had major earthquakes along its entire length um, in the last century, while uh, the East Anatolian Fault has not had um, move slower and hasn't had as many. And this may be the release of, you know, several hundred years worth of, of stored energy from the, uh, from the fault. All right. All right. Well, Michael, thank you so much for joining us here. And thank you so much for giving us your perspective this morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.